everyone and welcome back to The Colour Cave where we like to play with art stuff. My name is Gem and I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed this month with subscription boxes. I just seem to have them coming out my ears. And I've actually not had the chance to play with the last scroller box yet, but here is the January scroller box. This is a monthly art subscription box from a UK based company. And um, just after the little revelations we've had about all the boxes that I've unboxed in the last few months, this is by far one of the best value boxes. So let's see what we've got inside for January. Oh, we've got our little magazine here. I absolutely love this. I am an absolute sucker for a gradient and uh, I really like this little, uh, it looks like a feather design on the front of it. So that's given us some arty information about our supplies, but also extra arty information as well, which I always think is really, really nice. So we'll look at that in just a minute. <laughs> so this is, um, this is our featured artist roots. What a really cool design and I like the, how they've picked up the, the background image from this for the cover of the scroller zine. I, I, I love stuff like this that's full of character and it's a very distinct art style as well. So uh, yeah, I really like this. It does look as if we've got a lot of markers on the go or something very similar to that, which I'm not as excited about, but you know, Kyle, markers are markers. So let's see. Uh, featured artist is Roots, freelance illustrator from Birmingham. So again, social media information down here should you wish to partake and check out some more of their work. Okay, the next thing I like to do is look at the surface we get given, if we get one at all. And this is the Clairefontaine paint on paper. This paper is really good quality. I've got quite a lot of it and I really like to use it. 250 GSM, so fairly sturdy paper. And this is the smooth paper, which again brings me to the fact that we might have some sort of markers as demonstrated on the front cover. And this paper is white. Oh, hello. Oh, I've got a little quality control. <laughs> leaflet in there. Okay, good to know it's been quality controlled. Uh, so yeah, this this paper is really, really smooth. Um, it's not a, well, it might be bright white actually. Yeah. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe bright white-ish. The first sheet's actually got a little bit of a flaw in it, but it's nothing drastic. And the this side, which I'm taking to be the front, feels smoother than this side, although we may be able to use both sides. We'll find out uh, a little bit more information about that if we can. So I'm really glad that we've got this paper because see great paper, very, very reliable, happy camper. I do like it when everything's all nice and neat and tidy in the tissue paper like this. It doesn't happen very often. Oh, uh, let me see. So here is our sticker, which fits in with this background again. I said, I just love the gradient. I love a good gradient. I can't play the jigsaw game with this though because it's just the background. So that's a little bit disappointing, but hey. And we always get a yeah, we always get a sweet as well, and this month it is a tango cherry shockers. So it's a sour fizz at two bar, and it is worth ten pence because it tells you that in the front. Can't get a lot for ten pence these days. Uh, I don't, have never had one of these, but I imagine it will be sour and chewy. It's quite soft, it's quite bendy, so have fun with that. I'll be giving that to Mr. Jem. Although he's been getting into trouble from the dentist, so maybe not. Okay. Onward to the supplies. It's a pencil. We have a Faber-Castell 9000 pencil. These are very reliable pencils. Again, we've had these on several occasions in our boxes and there's a reason for that and it's because they're really reliable, they sharpen well and they do exactly what they're supposed to do. This is an H grade pencil, so it's a hard pencil. Good for sketches, particularly on smoother paper because it won't smudge at all. Even if you had an HB and you were going to do a sketch on the this very very smooth paper there could be an element of smudging so the very sensibly and thoughtfully given us a decent grade of pencil to go in this particular paper so really pleased about that as well i use these pencils all the time oh here we go another favorite oh my goodness uh, a pigma a pigma micron fine liner these are archival they are um waterproof when dry really reliable they do need a bit of drying time now this is a number 12 now the thing with Pigma Microns is this number does not denote the nib size. They have like their own grading system. So this is a 0 0.7 millimetre line, which is, uh, well, <laughs> it's a chunky monkey. Wowee! So uh, that's a, a, a not so fine, fine liner. I do not actually own this size. The biggest I have got is a 0 0.8, which I think is a chunky monkey. So this is an even chunkier monkey. Good grief. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Now, we have Store Horizontally. 
Karen Pigment Deco Brush. Now, I am a huge fan of the Karen Brush Marker Pros. It is the only set of markers that I have ever gone out and bought for myself because I'm not really a huge fan of markers. So I'm a little bit excited about these. And, oh, look at the colours! So I have a feeling that these are the... Oh, no, they're, I was going to say these might be the alcohol-based version, but they're not. Oh, the, they're acrylic. Okay, they're acrylic. Opaque colour system, acrylic permanent ink, flexible brush tip. I'm excited about the brush because I hope it's the same one as on the Brush Marker Pros. Water-based, non-toxic, suitable for most surfaces and easy colour blending. It is the same brushes. Oh, look at that. That is a very offensive shade of yellow. I, I like these because uh, the, the brush is a really nice balance between flexible and um, firm. So you don't have to have excellent control. You know, you don't have to be like absolutely precise, which is good for me because I've got a bit of an unpredictable hand at times. And generally my hand is quite unsteady when working with ink. So that's really, really nice that it's the same brushes. So we've got... Canary, bright orange and red. So that was our lovely gradient from over here. But we also have henna. So good. This is, this is great. Oh. Even though I'm not normally a fan of markers, I like this. I like this. This is good. Okay. I can't wait to test these out. This is exciting. <laughs> let's, let's, um, let's take a little look at the magazine. Uh, the first page is just the overview of everything that we've just done, so we don't really need to look at that. And then we get a, a little, they call it a sit down, it's like a little interview with the featured artist, which is, and look at, very, very distinctive work, and look at that for a cow picture, that is amazing. Absolutely love it, absolutely like love this style. And then we've got some scroller tips as well. Okay, so there, there's a few things that they're mentioning here. Uh, before you use them, make sure you shake them well with the cap still on. If you find the ink still isn't truly opaque, give them another shake. Always store them horizontally. If you need to clean the tips, briefly dip the tip into clean water. Then paint with it on a sheet of clean paper until the paint flows normally again. Yeah, so sometimes that'll happen because this is acrylic ink. Maybe if you have, if they've been stored for a while and the the brush tip is slightly dry and it's caked with some of the acrylic that was there before. You, you basically just have to manipulate it a bit to get it going again and that, that kind of makes sense. Important to note the brush tip can be prone to fraying if it's used on rough surfaces so they are best used on smooth surfaces or paper like the pad provided. To, and it, he's actually telling you how to create a gradient or a blend. These are permanent when they're dry, so you can use the micron on top of them and it won't disturb the colour. Cool. I love the scroller gallery. This is like one of my favourite things ever. I really like it. <laughs> this was the creating cam. I really like this as well. This was a good prompt. Some of these are lovely. and I'm glad they haven't picked out all the mandala type ones because I really wasn't into that. But yeah, this is, this is super cool. I really like them. Okay, oh, we're talking about caricatures here, which is obviously the style of the featured artist. A little QR code for some extra, extra online goodness. And that is our scroller zine. So let's take a quick look at the card that talks about the supplies system specifically. <laughs> specifically. Let's see if we can learn anything else. The Karen Pigment Deco Brush. Ultimate creative freedom, apparently. They are flexible and versatile brush markers with rich acrylic paint. Can be used on all kinds of surfaces. We've heard this a million times before. Glass, plastic, blah, 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 textiles. It can also be used on dark surfaces and will be just as richly pigmented. These colours can be blended easily until the paint is completely dry to create beautifully smooth gradients and tonal transitions. And once dry, the paints become waterproof and permanent. Recommended retail price is £15.99 per set. Interesting. The, the Pigma Micron... Uh, Pigment-based ink that will not bleed or run if liquids are spilled or applied after the ink has dried. Free-flowing ink is UV ray and chemical resistant, which will keep the ink from fading over time, which was seen as archival. The, this pen is a necessary tool for multimedia projects. It can be layered and used with virtually any other media. That's the thing I like about the microns. They're really reliable for that, but you do have to let them dry. But I have used them with a bajillion things and I've never had any problems with them. 
I jump between those and the uni pin fine liners. Uh, I find that the uni pin fine liners are more robust, they last longer, but I like the teeny, teeny, tiny sizes that the Pigma Microns come in, like the really small ones. Um, so I, I tend to jump between the two, but I, they, I've used these long and weary. The paper, paint on, uh, is it Lisa? L-I-S-S-E, Lisa? High quality paper, perfect for mixed media, dedicated to connect both dry and wet media such as pencil crayons, blah, 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 blah. Made from 100% cellulose fibres, acid free. It is also PEFC certified, which guarantees that wood is obtained in a sustainable manner only from certified EU forests. That's quite important. So we are using environmentally friendly and responsibly sourced paper here. So that's great. Our little uh, graphite pencil, our 9000. Oh, we're, okay, we're getting the spiel. I've had this a couple of times. I probably know this off by heart by now. Uh, Count Alexander von Faber-Castell in 1905. Yeah, they're really high quality, brake resistant lead. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, the production of this pencil also professes a carbon neutral production as well as environmentally friendly water-based varnish. So we are thinking about the environment, which is absolutely fabulous. Ah, uh, scroller challenge is, uh, is creature... Creature comforts. <laughs> so that ties in beautifully with our um, dinosaur lizard um, alligator that's wearing a jumper. He's cosy. So that's actually a really nice, uh, a really nice prompt, and that that is a nice interpretation. I think just because I've been talking about chunky monkeys, that I should maybe do a monkey. Who knows? I'll have to have a little think about that. But in the meantime, we've got supplies to test out. So let's uh, tidy this up and put these pens through their paces. <laughs> right, so I am ready to test out some of these supplies. Uh, just before we carry on, I keep reminding myself to do these things and for some reason I never do them. In the stash shop today, we are topping up and restocking some of the items. So some of the Posca pens that were out of stock, specifically the bronze one, which seems to be quite popular, these are back in stock. And I also have some more of the Polycolor pencils in stock. Um, so there's a couple of sets of those up for grabs as well. So if you're looking to treat yourself to some art supplies or maybe just want to grab yourself a bargain you can head to the cave website which is here and uh, you can go to the shop and purchase something for yourself somebody did ask me recently about shipping outside of the uk i do ship worldwide i am happy to do so particularly for those of you in canada it seems to be a really good option and the the postage and customs etc seems to be quite good so just a bit of information for you if you're in any doubt or you have any questions you can just drop me an email i'm quite happy to answer emails about shipping and the shop and this is my email address here so please do not hesitate to get in touch anyway let's get, let's get a move on here i don't know why i can't remember to do these things at the start of the video like i'm very absent-minded when it comes to things like that but it's like i say to myself right jen remember to talk about what's in the stash shop and then i completely forget because i get excited about supplies so we'll get zoomed in a little bit and we'll get these tested out I wasn't sure whether or not I was going to do the scroller challenge today and I don't think I am. Um, I'm kind of overwhelmed with boxes and stuff just now, uh, but I'll probably do a separate video for the scroller challenge, seeing as it's the first one of the year. Okay, so these pencils are really reliable and an H pencil, you're not going to get much in terms of depth and shading because that's not what it's meant for. It's meant as a sketching pencil, but these are very, very reliable. But if I just give you a demonstration about what I was talking about before, you can get some nice light lines. So if you're going to do an under sketch and you're using these pens over the top, these lines aren't going to like show up through your paint too much. But if I take my finger now and I do this, you can see that the smudging is absolutely minimal. It is going to smudge a little bit because it's graphite, but just to give you a comparison. Okay, this is probably a bit extreme, but this is a 6B. So if I was to make the same sort of shape here, and you can see those lines look fairly innocuous there. Um, you know, they don't look particularly like, rah, but if I do this now. Yeah. Can you see the difference? This is a smudgy central here. So that's why an H pencil is much, much better for these kind of things. So if you're doing something like that, an, an H pencil, uh, I like to use an F, uh, but anything in the H band is absolutely perfect for stuff like this. I'm really keen to look at this micron as well. As I said before, I've never had a micron this big and it's freaking huge. Uh, let's see, okay. 
oh, there's something quite satisfying about that. It, it makes me not want to refer to it as a fine liner, though, because it's really not a fine liner. Uh, this is a fabulous pen. I quite like this. It feels really chunky and sturdy. I like it. Um, and obviously with a nib this size, because the, the nib's big, like it's big, it's really easy to fill in areas as well. So, you know, it's not going to take you forever to, to block in a certain part of your image if that's what you want to do. That's fairly good going. There we go, like that. Again, consistently down really reliable pens. Do give these pens a decent amount of time to dry if you're going to put wet media over the top of it. But once these are dry, these are not going anywhere. Okay, let's get down to business. These deco brush pens are met. I'm wondering if there's a ball bearing in these. I think I hear something. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to give these all a good shake. Pulled something in my back and see this action, that's not helpful. That's what I get for trying to be healthy and active. <laughs> Cripple myself. Right, okay. So I'll test these out individually. Uh, yeah, these are exactly the same brush nibs that are on their Pro Mar uh, Brush Marker Pros, which is the water-based ones that I really like. Say so much so that I actually went and b bought myself a set and Gem Gem does not buy markers. So that tells you all you need to know. Look how vibrant these colours are. These are ridiculous. So the, these nibs are great. Like these brush tips are one of my favourite brush tips that are on the market. And they're they're quite similar to the um, brush tips on a Copic sketch marker. They're just a little bit shorter. So if you've had experience with them, that gives you, you know, like a ballpark to compare them to. Let's see the brown as well. So lovely rich colour, excellent sensible colour choice to go together and uh, going down on this paper really well, everything's going down on this paper really well, there's no feathering, again kind of expect that from the Clairefontaine paper. So I'm going to try and uh, let's see what we can do here with a wee bit of blending. Now the, the uh, paint is staying wet on the paper quite a bit. Oh, that's blending out quite nicely though. Now what I would be tempted to do is to brush off the excess of the blended colour here. You know, like just clean off the nib and then carry on. I don't know how I would feel about that, but yeah, it's giving us a nice blend. Um, I might take away. I feel like this is quite wasteful though. Like to get back to the 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 pure yellow. Now they did mention about dipping in water, so I don't know if that might be a bit more helpful if you were going to blend. You know, if you're going to do a lot of blending, rather than wasting all your paint. You know, trying to get the nib clean. But yeah, that's that's really good. I like that. And see, these brushes are just my favourite thing ever. Yeah, and that's that's fairly clean. Not too bad at all, not too bad. And I like these as well because you can see how much paint's in them as well. That's quite a good feature as well. You know, you can see through the barrel and it lets you know the way of things. I actually, I, I've kind of got a thing for acrylic paint pens now. I really like the Molotov ones as well. <laughs> so this is maybe becoming a bit of a fetish for me. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the way that this is blending. I'm going to try the red and the orange as well. Look at that red. It's crazy beans. But yeah, they're staying wet long enough that you have time to work with them. And obviously two colours that are close together on the colour wheel, like red and orange, it's going to be a lot easier um, and a lot less messy blending these than it is a brown and a yellow. But you can see that you can get some lovely gradients with that. Look how seamlessly that's just slotted itself in there. It's like, yeah. So yeah, really, really nice. Actually a wee bit excited about this. I said I had a little think about this just while I was uh, clearing up the, the desk before we got to this stage and I know I mentioned earlier about this being a chunky monkey. So my creature my creature comfort is going to be a monkey of some description. Uh, what that's going to entail I don't know but you can stay tuned and uh, I will do a separate video on that in the next maybe week or so and we can make something pretty with the supplies in this scroller box. I don't know about you guys but I'm really impressed with this box. I've been a bit disillusioned lately with a subscription boxes 
uh, just after that bumper cave miss unboxing where I unboxed everything that I could get my little grubby mitts on. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the end card for you and down in the description and you can check it out. Uh, I, I looked at quite a lot of boxes and overall I, I was I was quite disappointed and uh, when you tally up the money that was spent on those boxes to what I was actually getting for that and you know how much you would actually use uh, stuff like this makes me really happy because this is a really cohesive box we've got some beautiful artwork and we've got a lovely set of supplies that go well together and some high quality paper as well so not to be sniffed at this box so i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and i shall see you in the next video which will be on thursday for some more playing with art stuff here in the cave so have a great day everyone and bye for now